Klay Thompson has officially signed with the Dallas Mavericks. We are witnessing the end of the Splash Brothers era, the end of a Golden State Warriors dynasty, and to be honest, with Klay Thompson, we are now left with a lot of questions. As at this current point in time, I do not think the hate for Klay could get any higher. Is he going to help raise his team to a new championship level, or is he going to be a shell of himself? That is what we're about to dive into. What's up? Mike here, and to show you what I mean by the extreme hate Klay is getting, let's take a look over to reddit where we find comments such as this shake my head what is clay doing who is offering more than the two-year 48 million he got from warriors this guy really wants to leave for less money exactly money is not the problem with the warriors his ego got hurt last season i guess his feelings just got hurt i got 25 year old jeans less washed than clay yikes some absolutely brutal comments as right now a lot of people believe that clay thompson's ego is getting in his way and that he's still believes himself to be a star level player and that the Warriors benching him last year and that the way they treated him all season has clouded his judgment and that he is making some sort of mistake and to be fair the Warriors did offer Clay a two-year 48 million dollar extension however Clay thought he was worth more he bet on himself he not only did not take this money but also appears to have felt that this was an insult from an organization where he is undoubtedly a legacy player as during this offseason it has been reported that Clay really had no desire at all to re-sign with the Warriors after what happened in this past season. He felt disrespected from the team and he had almost no communication with Golden State during the free agency period as he made it clear that he wanted to move on. This came after Golden State did bench Clay this season. It also came after he shot 0 for 10 in the play-in game against the Sacramento Kings. And as we saw from the comments from Reddit, a lot of people believe that this is Clay's ego getting in the way of his rational thinking, but let's be honest. We are not Clay Thompson. Thompson, we don't know exactly what happened between the franchise and Clay in these talks at first. The fact that it has gotten to this point is pretty shocking. Clay has been in the NBA for 13 years now, two of which he sat out with injuries, and all of those seasons it appeared he was a loyal potential lifer for the Golden State Warriors, as with his time in Golden State, he was the second splash bro, a key piece of a core that won four championships as Clay himself was a five-time all-star in the process. He is undoubtedly a Hall of Famer, he will be remembered forever for his giant contributions to the biggest NBA dynasty we have seen in the last decade, it's sad that somehow we are not going to have a happy ending to the Warriors and Clay's time together. I'm sure eventually this relationship will be mended, but here is what's not sad to me. If the goal is to win an NBA championship for both Golden State and Clay Thompson, if we're being honest with ourselves, this core just wasn't going to get there. Do we really think if Golden State re-signed Clay that they were going to be able to take down Denver or Minnesota or or Oklahoma City or Dallas next season. I think we can all agree that is already four teams we'd have ahead of the Warriors as Steph and Draymond just get older. Now, I'm not sure where Golden State goes here as after a failed attempt to get Paul George and after declining an apparent trade for Zach Levine, Golden State's future is certainly uncertain. What I do think is Clay moving team seems to be best for everyone involved, which means at this point we have to ask ourselves, what exactly is Clay going to bring to the table next season? Is he still a championship cow? player and the answer to me is an overwhelming yes we watch as stars age and get worse over time that is just the reality of sports father time is undefeated but we also see how much of a change in situation can have on a player how sometimes when things are just not going right on one team new scenery can fix that almost instantly and with the mavericks clay is now walking into a situation where he is going to be honestly asked to do less than he was before right now people are piling on clay i get that but what we have to keep in mind is how resilient this man is. Clay Thompson came back from missing two straight seasons with injuries at the ages of 29 and 30 and immediately helped the Warriors win an NBA championship. There have been many players in the league that after getting injured near the age of 30 were never able to come back and contribute in any sort of meaningful way. There are plenty of players who would have thought, I already won my rings, I already made my money, I already built my legacy, I don't need to work tremendously hard each and every day to get back on the court but that is what clay thompson did he obviously loves basketball he obviously loves playing at a high level sure his stock is low right now 
Sure, he shot 0 for 10 in the playing game against the Kings. I get that. And I am not excusing Clay's mindset, but after watching his actions in this offseason, it is obvious that Clay was playing with one foot out the door in that playing game. Once Clay is locked into a new team, into a new scenario, it is very likely we are going to get that sharpshooter we just watched in the previous few years back. We need to remember here that after missing those two seasons with injuries, Clay came back and was only able to play in 32 games in the regular season in 2022 but then in the playoffs while Steph is remembered as being an absolute superstar Clay more than held his own averaging a key 19 points per game the second most on the Warriors during that title run as Golden State took home their fourth NBA championship during this era that was just two seasons ago two seasons ago we all believed Clay was a worthy second option on a title team and then in 2023 Clay averaged 21.9 points per game in 69 regular season games Games while shooting 43.6% from the field. While his numbers did drop to 17.9 points per game this last year, Clay played less minutes and also played in 77 games, meaning that despite those injuries, he's still able to be a durable player. And his shooting percentages were almost the exact same in a year where he was clearly not happy playing basketball. Playing for the Mavericks, Clay will not be expected to be the second option. As we know, Luka at times can be a one man team on offense, while Kyrie is a high level slash high usage second option which means clay is going to be able to do what he does best shoot the basketball as a spot-up shooter as defenses struggle to contain luka and Kyrie, while also keeping guys such as Derek lively or daniel gafford from getting easy baskets tim hardaway jr was not good in his role for the mavs in the playoffs dallas was missing that knockdown shooter and now they have him while again he is not going to be expected to carry the offense as much as he was expected to in golden state say what you want about clay's down downfall or whatever you want to call it but for the Warriors this season Clay still averaged 14.7 shots per game which was the second most on the team Jonathan Kaminga was still too young to take on a secondary role Andrew Wiggins seems limited or just unwilling to take on a secondary role both players averaged just around 11 shots per game if Clay was in a situation like Paul George where PG is going to the Sixers and is expected to be the third star there where he's expected to make a massive difference for that offense then my thinking would be different however that's just not the case when Ray Allen left the Boston Celtics he went from being a member of Boston's big three to a man who averaged just 10.9 points and 9.6 points in his two regular seasons with the heat but still he made a massive contribution to that roster and of course knocked down one of the biggest shots in NBA history a shot that forever altered LeBron James legacy as we know it Clay is younger than Ray Allen when he left the Boston Celtics and Clay has been putting up better stats than Ray Allen was when Ray left the Boston Celtics so per Personally, while I think Clay's stock is down now, I also know who Clay Thompson is. He is a champion. He is a true warrior in the sense that he worked his way back from major injuries to get back to a level where he was able to get Golden State a fourth championship. When he is locked in, he is an absolute game changer for the playoffs. And while it is going to be a bit strange to see him in a new jersey, we cannot understate that he is a championship level vet at the highest level. With the Mavericks, I expect big things. I expect some big playoff games. I expect him to be a high level player in his new role. I expect him to have a true difference making impact. With Golden State, things went sour. The fit was no longer there, but I think that will quickly be forgotten when we see Clay light it up yet again next year. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And if you're still here, I think you'll enjoy this video on the Paul George to the 76ers move or this video on the worst recent NBA draft pick busts in the last. 10 years if you're already subscribed thank you so much for supporting you're awesome we all know it and as always have an awesome day and cue that music